The common law and the civil law are, of course, the two great European systems of law, and they've been hugely influential worldwide. It's very flattering that there's such an interest in the study of the common law by lawyers in the civil law systems. The method of the common law is, of course, very different from that of the civil law. Their starting points are different. Whereas the civil law is founded on statements of principle, the common law starts from decisions in individual cases from which patterns of authorities are built up and from which principles emerge. But both civil law and the common law have to address the same legal problems. And I think it's extremely valuable to compare and contrast the ways in which different systems do this. In recent decades, there's been a much greater willingness in the United Kingdom to look at how things are done in civil law systems. This has been encouraged to a large extent by our participation in the European Union and in the European Convention on Human Rights. Comparative law is now much more firmly established in the United Kingdom than it was when I was a student. Uh, for a lawyer, whether as an academic or a practitioner, to have experience of both systems is a real strength. One of the great attractions of the common law is that it's based on decisions in real cases affecting real people. To my mind, this is why the study of the common law can be so fascinating and such enormous fun. And I do hope that that has been your experience of studying English law through the British Law Centre.